Hello, everybody. Welcome to another segment of Barely Inbounds. Hey, Dave, it's U.S. Open week. Ah, oh, Sal, I can't wait to get up to Wingfoot, be heading out there tomorrow morning. But first, you know, we've got some uh, feel-good stories I want to uh, lay on you this week before we uh, head up there. The first of which is Anna Nordquist's victory at the LPGA Championship. Well, pretty good victory. Uh, you know, here's a, here's a girl that, you know, she's young. She's just on the tour for the first time. She's only played in five LPGA events. And I'll what a better what, the, uh, way to, the, you know, come The kid has bit. not come out of nowhere. Yes. I mean, you know, you, you, you do a little uh, homework on her. You find out she was the Swedish junior of the year in 2004 and 2005. Uh, she won the girls' British amateur. She won the uh, 2008 women's British amateur. Uh, she was a low amateur at the Women's British Open last year. She was on Sweden's World Amateur Team Championship uh, uh, winning team in 2008, and she finished second individually out of all those uh, women. And um, two and a half years at Arizona State as a standout player, which hey, Arizona sounds, State won the like NCAAs without her. That sounds like another Swede. <laughs> Annika huh? Sorenstam, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, where did Annika win for the first time? I think she uh, won a major for the first time. I believe she did. So, uh, you know, I don't think there's any reason not to expect big things from uh, Anna Norquist. Uh, particularly, she's supposed to be a, a really hard worker, and uh, you saw how focused she was out there. Well, what really impressed me was when they had the rain delay on uh, Saturday and she came out strong and, and still played really well. But, you know, the big question is, is, you know, as happy as that was, you know, Carolyn Bivitz, again, wouldn't talk to media. Nobody knows. Is there a future for the LPGA championship? Uh, boy, that that's a tough one. I guess there are a lot of issues there. Do they stay at uh, Bully Rock? Uh, can they get a sponsor for uh, for one of their major championships? I don't know. Well, what do you have to do to save this thing? I think, you know, you've got to find a great venue for it. Uh, I don't know, Sal. Do they go to LPGA uh, International? I mean, and try to make this like the, uh, <laughs> try to make That's this thing like the That's a crap course. The I mean, the one down at, the one in Daytona Beach, that is the crappiest of crap courses. They played the LD, uh, the ADT uh, Championship there many years ago, and they were said and gone. You know, what I think uh, uh, Carolyn Bivitz is doing, she says, or her, you know, spokespeople say that uh, they'll have more on this in November. You know, God, November is six months from now. Who knows what will happen? But uh, what I'm thinking is that right now they have a terrible situation down in Kings Mill, one of the really popular tournaments on a popular golf course and things like that. And what's happening is is the, the uh, uh, Anheuser-Busch company that got bought up is, is, is thinking of saving money all around. They're, they're cutting the Olympics and things like that. This is probably going to get uh, cut. So I think that she's going to think of some kind of a merger between, you know, the tournament that's in Kings Mill, kind of like what happened uh, 15 years ago when the McDonald's championship merged with the LPGA championship into one. So well, and then move the whole thing in Kings Mill. But, you know, who knows? Isn't there isn't her grand plan, though, to make this sort of the equivalent of the Players' Championship on the PGA Tour? So if that's yeah, but the you case, know, you I know mean, what? they've got to do some kind of long-term deal at a, at a great venue and uh, find lots of, uh, of co-sponsors. Yeah, it, you know what? As far as I'm concerned, she needs to go back. She needs to go and save people like ADT. She can't alienate people like McDonald's. She's uh, really not doing the job, and she's not adjusting to this really bad economy. Bad time to be so aggressive, definitely. Bad time to be so you aggressive. You can't be. You can't be. So, hey, let's move on because I'm really getting tired. All right, of, you know, I, I'm going to give you another feel good. I got another feel good else. for you, Sal. Okay. Not, a lot of not, a lot, not a lot of people are talking about, and that is uh, on the Nationwide Tour. You know, you had Kevin Johnson uh, winning on a, with a kick in birdie, birdie on the um, uh, second hole of a playoff in Knoxville, but the kid that he beat, Bradley Isles from New Zealand. And a lot of people don't know is uh, five years ago, this kid suffered a massive head injury at an amateur tournament down in uh, South Carolina. He was uh, fooling around with a bunch of his, his mates one evening on a golf cart. They were out spotting alligators. He was, they were drinking and he was on the back of the cart and somebody made a sharp turn, fell off, hit his head on the curb, had uh, massive brain surgery that night. You know, I, I did a piece on him a, f uh, a few years ago. And his parents told me that they were flying from New Zealand, you know, the night of the surgery. They didn't know that uh, they would get to the United States, whether their son would be dead or alive. 
They said they were coming to get him one way or the other. And, you know, it's just a great story that this kid has rebounded. He's been playing on the nationwide tour for the last couple of years, uh, was an immensely talented amateur down in, in New Zealand. And it's just great to see a nice kid like that come through. And I, I, I hope he keeps playing well. Well, it is a very good story. We don't see many of these. You know, we, we have the really sad story. Uh, Ken Green's going to have to have his uh, leg or partial, partial leg amputated. So we also have another good uh, uh, story that came out of uh, Memphis. Well, yeah, of course, Brian Gay winning twice there gets him into the U.S. Open. But oh, you know, that's that, was, that's not the story. Come on, I was Tell watching. I one. was watching with the co-runner up with with David Toms, who you know you uh, you picked a good call there. But Bryce Mulder, you know, here's here's another great story out there. This is a kid. He was born with no left pectoral muscle. He has uh, something called Poland syndrome, which means he was born with his left hand smaller than his right. And before he was five years old, he had two surgeries to separate three webbed fingers on his left hand. Now, you know, 10 years ago, this kid was, was uh, the all-everything at Georgia Tech. You know, he was the can't-miss kid coming out of college. Right. Well, he did miss. He'd been struggling, and uh, but he made it via the Nationwide Tour this year for the second time. And it's great to see him playing well, too. No, it's very good. Hey, disregard that phone. It's just another phone call. Who knows? Maybe somebody wants to collect on a debt or something. But, uh, you know, it's a great one. Brian Gay with, with winning in Memphis. He gets himself into uh, the U.S. Open the last minute. He won two uh, tournaments in a calendar year. So that's pretty Well, great. you know, I, I think he's got the uh, the precision to win at a place like uh, Beth Page, but I don't think he has the length. So I don't know whether he's going to be a factor, even though he's hot coming in what are you looking forward to uh, at beth page this week oh I'm, i just think there are any number of scenarios you know everybody's just uh, automatically giving the tournament to tiger but i'm not so sure something i did want to point out though about the open three uh, uh wds over the weekend a couple of them were sort of interesting uh, robert carlson who a lot of people liked coming into this had an eye infection uh the fun thing about him the guy who replaced him uh andrew svoboda who won the uh, 2007 New York State Amateur at uh, Beth Page Black. He was a quarter finalist at the uh, U.S. Amateur at Wingfoot in 04. You know, he seems to really play well in the metropolitan area. He's a, he's a guy who's uh, been playing on the Hooters Tour for the last couple of years. Dudley Hart is out with a bad back. He's replaced by a college kid from UC Santa Barbara, Scott Lewis. And one of the big hopes for Asia, unfortunately, is out with a bad back. Shingo Katayama. We're going to miss the, his... Uh, uh, his his great apparel there and everything. We don't have John Daly now. We don't have Shingo. Well, but he was replaced by another college kid out of Indiana University, David Erd. You know what the thing about uh, Shingo is? He has been taking up martial arts to help him with uh, you know thinking martial arts is going to help him. So I was kind of looking forward to uh, catching up with him and saying, Hey, how's that martial arts? Hey, one other uh, WD Trevor Enelman has some wrist problems, so he's not playing too. A lot of WDs we don't usually get this. Hey. I'm out the door. I'm driving up 95 up to New York, uh, and I will uh, catch up with you uh, tomorrow, and we'll do a couple of these uh, this week. Looking forward to it, Sal. Travel safe.